Hello everyone, I'm basically going to babble for this entire video about anything and everything I want. But yeah, welcome. <laughs> so this video is going to be long, it's going to be a draw with me and also a studio vlog at the same time. But like I said before, I'm just going to be babbling and talking the entire time. Pray for my voice. So right now I'm drawing this like little bunny character for my stickers. And I decided to draw like a bunch of these animal friends basically because I noticed that when people have a sticker shop they usually have kind of like a band of animal characters who they mainly draw for the stickers and so I was like you know what I can do that I can make my own cute characters but guess what it was a lot more difficult than I thought because this type of cutesy stuff, I mean, even just drawing animals in general is very out of my element. It's out of my comfort zone and I don't normally draw animals. I draw people. And so you might be thinking, well, Lauren, why didn't you just stick to drawing people and like fan art and merch and stuff for your sticker shop? And my answer to that is I want, I just want to draw cute characters. I got like, I hyper fixated on desert rain frogs and so the first thing I created for my shop was a desert rain frog. It's literally the first sticker I ever made and it turned out really good and I was like thinking, you know what, let me stylize this dude. I named him Doompy based off Dumpy because he has a very chubby butt and I like turning like syllables into oo. Like sometimes I call myself Lurun instead of Lauren. And so Doompy works. It's the same naming convention. And as for the bunny and the mouse that I drew earlier, I was thinking of naming the bunny Lumi and naming the mouse Mopi. So like I'm kind of already getting into the groove of like this naming convention that I like. So those were the first three characters that I created, basically. And I wanted more. I just wanted to create more for the shop. It was almost like an addiction. Like, this past month, I had barely drawn anything, like, normal, I guess, because I was just drawing stickers all the time. But I also have a lot of plans for just drawing uh, character sheets and stuff and just turning those into stickers, so... It's not just going to be these cute little guys. I I have a lot of plans for the future, guys, and I'm kind of scared for a lot of them, but also very excited. I was also like trying to create some stickers for uh, packaging purposes, like some box stamps, but um, they didn't really turn out totally how I wanted them. So those will be on hold for now. And also there's like that little derpy a chicken duck thing in the back that I just turned into super small stickers. There was one point while I was recording where I realized that I indeed wasn't recording and it's so annoying. It's because like my phone runs out of storage. So I use my phone to record and I only have, um, I think it's like 128 gigabytes and sometimes I run out because I forget to delete like the larger hour long videos that I have on my phone and so I run out of storage. And I'm, I'm really bad with that. You would think that I would learn after the first few times that it happens and I would like be very on top of managing my storage, but I'm not, I'm a, I'm a messy person. And so here I knew I wanted to create sticker sheets of like kind of toy core, very kid core type of stuff. I looked at Pinterest a lot for inspiration, even though I probably should just like not do that because I might end up like plagiarizing um, unconsciously but I did it anyway and I was just doodling this stuff and the drawing part is actually the easy part because I I know that I can doodle like cute stuff you know I can just draw the line art for them but when it comes to coloring coloring is the difficult part for me. So my goal is kind of like primary colors, very kid core aesthetic, but 
once I started coloring, I was like, ew, like these colors don't look good together. And it, it was just a struggle. It was taking me a long time to color this sticker sheet. And I actually ended up like not recording after a while because I was like, okay, this is taking too long while I was brainstorming colors. And I was just like, I just need to kind of take a break and I need to give this a lot of tries. And I, I didn't want this video to just be filled with me blocking in colors and like being frustrated. And so I, I cut that part short, but eventually I did get it down and I wasn't super satisfied with the colors still like, but it's, it's what I came up with. Um, and because of that reason, I didn't make too many of these in the case that they weren't like popular. I think I only made like maybe 15 of them instead of like 20 or 30 that I usually make. So yeah, this new sticker sheet was actually probably the most difficult thing to make this time around in this update. So coming up is actually the sponsored section of this video. I was lucky enough to get sponsored by Stationery Pal because they're holding a Black Friday sale. They sent me an entire box of stuff and it was very exciting. With starting the sticker shop came also this interest that I have in journaling. And Stationery Pal is, well, a stationery shop. And so if you're into stationery and like notebooks and pens and stuff, this is a really amazing shop for you. So, so aside from the stuff that I asked for, they also sent me like a bunch of freebies, which are really cute. And they're really like these three mini things and they're already getting prepared for Christmas. And um, I'm going to be using these as decorations for like my setup and stuff. And I mainly got uh, highlighters and some bracelets that I could wear while I do my draw with me. Of course, stickers. But I actually failed to ask for some like pens. And I think I'm gonna actually go to their store during Black Friday and buy myself some pens because I really like their products and their stuff is incredibly affordable. They have an entire section of the store which is under a dollar, I think, or like 60 cents. And I like, I feel like a little kid, like going to like the Scholastic Book Fair for the first time or something, because I feel like I could just get everything and anything I want for like five bucks. There's just so many things and I'm definitely gonna go back there and just buy myself a bunch of stuff as like, a reward for starting a business basically but there are like these cute stickers of these um, beverages that I'm just going to be sticking on everything and in my journals And I got this charm for my phone and these are also the bracelets. They're all so cute. I'm definitely excited to show them off in my draw with these. Trying out the pens, this Snoopy pen, the red one actually felt super, super smooth. And the red Santa and snowman ones were fine, but they sometimes would do that thing where like you kind of need to twist like the pen around while you're writing for like the ink to kind of come out again and um, that kind of bothered me about the pens but for the most part the highlighters and the other pens were really really nice some of them probably could have had a bit more accurate colors but for the most part i know i'm going to a lot while i journal and i'm the type of person i found out recently that actually does better during my day when i physically write down my to-do list rather than typing it down because then I can actually go through the physical act of like checking something off and it just helps me a lot more especially nowadays when I'm trying to be productive like 24 7 and I have so many things to do within one day. Also like I think my favorite thing is this little chair that is supposed to be a phone stand. I think I'm going to be using it to take pictures of my stickers and like 
for the product listings on Etsy, but I'm really excited to use these stickers in my journals and like um, basically everywhere. And yeah, there's just like all of these dudes to add to my collection and setup now. Yeah, thank you Stationery Pal for sponsoring this video. Please go check them out. They're having a huge sale. You're gonna find something that you like there no matter what. So now coming back to drawing the stickers, I wanted to give Doofy like a sibling. Kind of like a bigger, angrier, grumpier sibling. And so I came up with Goomby and at one point I actually considered naming Goomby Chad instead because, well, he's a Chad, but I was like, no, that's, that's too meme -y. it's not cute, and plus Goomby matches Doompy, like, for the naming convention, and so I just went with Goomby, but, um, this design for Goomby, this kind of, like, taller frog with like legs and stuff actually came from when I had to design a creature for my class. So I'm in a 2D design class currently and one of our projects was designing a creature and in the span of that project we learned what makes uh, character design have good form, good flow, and good colors and a silhouette and all that jazz and my professor had us sketch out like around six or five little creatures and my boo bears or my bears that are shaped as a ghost actually came from that project too and i just drew this like initial frog with a huge head and he's just angry and he's wearing clothes and so i kind of like expanded upon that once i got home because i was like wait this is great sticker content and then I turned it into Goomby. And there was kind of like a baby version that I turned into Doompy. And I guess like the lore of these two brothers is that Goomby is the older brother who's kind of like mad all the time and kind of very protective, wants to protect his little brother. And I guess you can say that Doompy is kind of like the baby. You know, he's like the little kid who is grumpy because he doesn't want to wear this stupid shirt and you know like Gooby's just looking out for his little bro Doopy and I just love it like I'm, I'm already falling in love with him and here I drew like this bear dude and I initially actually didn't have any like specific plans for what I wanted him to look like I was kind of like thinking of uh, Frankenstein when I created him and also this cat I ended up naming um, the bear Cheese the bear. My sister helped me come up with that. And this cat, I still haven't named the cat. And so after drawing those, uh, Goomby the cat and Cheese the bear, I went on to Silhouette Studio to create like the sheets that I would print out for the stickers. And here you could see me basically spacing them out and creating the cut lines for them. And uh, I like to kind of really try to fit in as much as I can onto these pages because I hate the thought of wasting paper. And as you can see, I would put like smaller versions of stickers in empty spaces. And what I do with these is actually I turn them into like mini mystery bags where there's just a bunch of small stickers in them. And when I'm making stickers, I'm really messy. I'm the type of person that is kind of like, let's be messy now and organize later. I, I normally don't organize as I go. I really should so that there's less of a mess, but I don't. And so here are all the stickers that I made that night. It was a very productive night and I like to kind of like wrap them around in this um, paper just so that they stay together. But here's Cheese the Bear. Here's Goomby. This is Lumi. This is just a derpy cat. I'll probably make more versions of this cat. And after creating the stickers, the next step that I do is I quality check them. I'm actually a bit strict on quality checking. I didn't think I would, but 
I get bothered when there's like any tiny imperfection and so I end up like kind of putting a lot of them aside as B-grade stickers. And when I started to laminate the stickers, I really like the feel of laminating because it makes them feel more high quality and makes them actually waterproof and it makes them more durable. But the thing with laminating is that it also creates another margin for error and I discovered that I'm really bad at putting laminate on. So sometimes there would be tiny pieces of lint underneath the laminate or there would just be like really bad laminate. And the ones with um, bad laminate are going to be C grade, which are going to be like even cheaper, probably under a dollar because I don't want to waste them. You know, I feel like someone out there will buy them. And there's even these ones that have like chunks out of them. This one has really bad laminate. These also have bad laminate and those are going to be like in the very, very bad pile that are going to be sold for less than a dollar. I just put them in like one of Stationery Pals bracelet holders. And this is all of them. Honestly, it's just kind of really fun to work with stickers. And these are all the oops ones is what I'm calling them. All the B grade ones. I actually had this uh, glossy photo paper that I ended up trying out for the stickers, but colors uh, print out like very weirdly on them. and. This is your reminder that everything that I make in this video, everything that I draw, will be available to buy in my shop at the moment that this video is posted. So go and get them if you want them. So these are like the small ones that I made from the empty spaces or aka the scraps of the sticker sheets. And what I do is I just gather like 25 of them, random ones, and I put them slow baggy and it's kind of like a mystery bundle basically i tried to do the themed ones but i ended up just going with the mystery overall i also bought this new laminate it's a different brand from the first one that i was using and i was expecting it to be thicker i kind of like thick laminate better like right here the first laminate is very textured and it's very thick I was actually comparing them to these outsource stickers because I think for the most part outsource stickers are indeed laminated and um, it, it feels pretty similar and I'll be trying that out later. And I got very excited to try out this laminate on even more stickers so I decided to draw more of Doogie. This sketch where he's laying down in a bed has actually been in the works for a very long time. I've just kind of been avoiding it because I originally wanted it to be a print because I, I thought that it was too big to be a sticker, but here I am turning it into a sticker because I just get very excited and I'm the type of person that when I want something, I want it like at that moment. And so I was determined to just turn it into something. And I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. So when I first drew this, my, uh, my plan with it was to have Doom be sleeping in a bed. And the bed was originally supposed to be kind of like a quilt with other types of frogs like patched into his little blankie. But uh, I didn't feel like drawing more frogs because I just, I still need more practice in drawing frogs that aren't uh, rain frogs. And so I just made them normal patches and I was thinking of um, just making his blanket primary colors. And then for some odd reason, I decided to draw a version of Doogie that was like wearing a costume of like a normal uh, green tree frog. And I know that his head looks gigantic and you might think that I changed it so that his head is like less huge, but I kind of forgot about it because it looks so funny. I mean, look at him. He looks so sad to be like, in a costume of another frog and I just think it's hilarious how huge his head is even though it's like anatomically wrong because technically like his eyes are supposed to be where the bumps are but they're just so far down but oh god like this I think this might be one of my favorite stickers just like look at him he just looks so like sad it's like his mom put him in an outfit and he knows that there's nothing he can do about it. And so he's just dealing with it. 
And so let me know in the comments what type of other stickers you'd like to see from me and maybe what type of other animals you'd like for me to kind of try to create. So like so far I have a bear, I have two frogs, a bunny, and I have a chicken actually. I realize I haven't talked about him but you, you've seen him in the video if you've um, actually been looking uh, from time to time. He's a little visible here. You can see Juice Ken, you see his little pants, but it's like this little shirtless chick, baby chick. His name is Ken and he's also angry, just like Doopy. For some reason, I'm really drawn to angry, grumpy characters, but um, Ken, like he likes his juice and he's angry when he has his juice and he's angry when he doesn't have his juice. And I think it's just funny the fact that he's only wearing pants and he doesn't have a shirt on. Like. And for the future, I actually have plans of matching my normal OCs with my sticker OCs. Like, Ken has yellow and blue colors, and so I think he would really match being with Sydney. And I could, like, pair them up and create sticker sheets for them where maybe they're wearing each other's outfits or something like that. And don't be could probably also be matched up with Sydney and um, Lumi could do very well with Zabella because they both have pinks and yellows and um, I could even change Lumi's clothes to being purple and blue instead to match Zabella and Jules would do great with Goombi or Doopy because they're all grumpy characters and it's just fun to think about this of course I have to like go and actually draw it and hopefully I do in the future because I feel like I do kind of tend to have the problem where I have all these ideas and I talk about them and then in reality I never do them but because my mind is very ambitious but my hands are not like I tend to turn into a person who gets very frustrated when something doesn't go my way and hopefully I can get better at that and improve on doing things when it comes to the sticker shop because it's really fun to make stickers. I mean, it's frustrating, yes, but at the same time, it's also really fun because it's a new way to kind of see my art come to life. You know, like that's the great thing about art is that you have these ideas in your head. If you're an artist, you're able to execute them onto paper or onto a canvas digitally and you get to see your ideas come to life with these stickers you're physically holding them you can put them on stuff you can give them to people and that creates like this a whole nother relationship with the art that you have created and in the future i've even thought about doing like chibi commissions where i can turn them into stickers also and send them to the commissioner but that's still in the works um I'm a bit hesitant to do that because I'm like, oh, what if it just takes me forever to color correct and I end up just wasting a bunch of paper for this like, you know, like one commission. But yeah, that's just another idea that I may or may not do in the future. And this is how the bed one turned out and the frog head one for Doopy. They have the new laminate and they're definitely thinner than the other ones like cheese and um, Ken stickers but they do still feel nice. I'm still like trying to experiment with the type of material that I'm using and so far they do feel good. I just kind of feel like they can be still better. These are also the oops bags that I have that are basically mystery bags of the B grade stickers that have slight mistakes in them. I plan to make C grade versions, which are even che cheaper. I also tried to create the bestie stickers that I've advertised before of my actual characters because those were outsourced but I no longer have access to that manufacturer and so I was like hey why don't I just make my own version and I have a lot of b-grade versions of those in the future I plan to have like bundles of b-grade sticker sheets but at the moment I don't have enough sticker sheets to have a bundle so I'm just keeping those on the side and this is how the sticker sheet that I was drawing in the beginning of this video turned out. And yeah, this is everything that is going to be available in the shop update. 
I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video because I certainly have enjoyed making it. And at the time that this is posted, all of these listings should be up. You can go on my Etsy and buy them. And if you do, I really want to give you my gratitude for supporting the shop because you're supporting my passion. And you know, I hope you enjoy the stickers, but, but yeah, if you know people who might be interested in buying my stickers, please share it around, you know, support a small business because this is just so fun to do. And yeah, once again, please let me know what you thought about this draw with me slash studio vlog combination. It was really fun to make and I would like to know if you guys liked it so that I can continue making them or either stop making them. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Station Apparel because there is a Black Friday sale going on. And yeah, that's it for now. See you next time. Goodbye.